What's going on, everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building, and we have officially, unofficially, reached the end of AEW Fight Forever as Jay White will be released into the game on July 10th. Now, is this a bad thing? Is this a good thing? And what can we expect in the future? Today, we talk about everything. So let's get right into it. Man, boy, they coming down. So as stated, AEW has officially confirmed that Jay White will be added to AEW Fight Forever as DLC, of course, on July 10th. Guns up. You should have got the guns in here as well. But Switchblade Jay White is coming to AEW Fight Forever on July 10th. And they also gave us, I was about to say a small clip of his entrance, but this is pretty much his full entrance. So let's check it out. Let's turn the volume on first, though. So for the Jay White fans, here we have it. Is this a new AEW arena or is this the same one? Same arena, we did not get the new one in here. Shame, shame, shame. Now, a lot of people complain about the graphics in AEW Fight Forever, and that's mainly because they compare it to the 2K series, which is fine, but every time we get new wrestlers added to this game, they always look spot on. For what the graphics are, these wrestlers do look exactly like themselves in real life. Let's go ahead and slow it down a bit and take a look at the model. Maybe we might have slowed it down too much there, but it looks exactly like Jay White. While I'm not the biggest fan, and I always cook him when we do these videos talking about him, I see a lot of you guys are fans of him and um, Juice Robinson, but I'm more so a fan of the guns, and I think it would have been more beneficial to get two wrestlers in here instead of just this one. And if we were only going to get one wrestler, is Jay White the right one to go with because we still got a lot of stars who have not been added to this game but that brings us to the next question will jay white in fact be the last wrestler added to aew fight forever i don't know if y'all realize but we just passed the one year mark for when this game was released and there wasn't even really a celebration they did not do anything for the one year anniversary i know they like to drop these characters on wednesdays but i think dropping him at the one year point thank you everybody for playing aew fight forever and just giving us some type of idea of what's going on with the future of this game and if this is in fact it y'all may notice i don't make a lot of aew fight forever videos anymore only when really when we get these updates and that's because i feel like i'm beating a dead horse if this is it if this is all we're going to get and we are in fact not going to get any new match types then the game is cooked it's done finished finito I know the game was just released for free on PlayStation Plus, but unfortunately, by not adding new match types and not fixing these minor annoyances, you lost your core fan base. And I think at this point, it's just too late to get them back. But while the game lacks content, it had potential. They just didn't follow up on it. I actually like AEW Fight Forever, and I think the game has enough potential to stand right up there with the 2K series. I think this was a good start. People don't realize this is AEW's first game. WWE had a lot of bad games before they got things in line. Hopefully AEW doesn't jump out the game space completely just because Fight Forever wasn't received well. And I don't think they will. Apparently they bought this engine. They got a good team there with Ukes. That team worked on all of the SmackDown vs. Raw games and some of the 2K games. So a lot of them on that team know exactly what they're doing. I think when AEW signs this TV deal, if they make a lot more money, they'll have more money to invest in their games. And whenever we get AEW Fight Forever 2 or AEW This Is Awesome, AEW Dynamite. Skip the hullabaloo and just call it AEW Dynamite. So I got this question just today as I'm recording this video, and it came from Johnny, J Smith 785 who says, yo, any word or rumors on if AEW are actually going to make a new game, or will it kind of be like TNA? Put out a decent game, plan a sequel, and never follow through with it. Now, I think TNA never put out a sequel because they ran into a bit more problems that are bigger than what AEW has right now. But AEW is still in the healthy space, so I think we will see another game. And I think that because of this article we got from Mike Straw. So Mike Straw did an interview with a secret source who either worked on the game or worked closely with the game. We don't know who it is, we don't know what they did, but they got a lot of information from behind the scenes. And just to give us some context, before we get into the paragraph we want to focus on, they're stating that uh, they wanted to add trios matches to the game, but it turned out being harder to add trios matches than it was to add 
as Stadium Stampede. So here's what we want to look at. And keep in mind, this is from an inside source. When asked about adding bigger matches to this game, they said they're trying, but it just feels like something that may have to wait for the next game if they don't put extra resources into it now. Now, personally, I don't think they need to put any extra resources into this game. I think after they release Jay White, they need to go away and start working on the next game. And that's not a bad thing. They supported this game for a year, and that's pretty standard for any game. Some games do go beyond that, but I think for AEW's first game in the state, this one was released in one year is fine. Now it's time to take a step back and look at what you did with the first game. Look at the things you did right, and look at the things you did wrong. There was a whole list floating around of things we wanted fixed. None of them got fixed but you can still take that list and you can implement them in the second game you already got the engine so i think if they step away and work on a second game we can get it as soon as 2025 if you want to be extra careful with it don't announce it anytime soon and just release it in 2026 and i think that'll be completely fine as well but that may sound too good to be true because there is another wrinkle let's go ahead and continue on with the next part of this article speaking of the next game there is a lot of doubt surrounding the continued relationship of AEW and Utes. While the relationship started off strong, it continued to go downhill throughout the game's development and remains tense as work continues. Now, something happened here. I don't know if it was the fact that Brian Williams left or... I don't know. Kenny Omega was front and center when it came to promoting this game at first. And then at one point, he was like, you know what? I'm out of here. And we haven't seen Kenny Omega say anything about the game since. When he was on Swerve's podcast, he kind of sounded bummed out. And it kind of made me scared about the game being released. But a lot of the things that were going around that time, like them saying the blood was going to be removed, ended up being in the game. So I think that did work out. But Kenny Omega is a gamer, so I think he kind of saw the writing on the wall before this thing came out. And Evil Uno stepped up to the plate, and they didn't even get him in the game. Yikes. But this next part is very important also. It says, no one knows what's going to happen when the plan updates are done. I think the plan updates are done. I don't know yet, but they released the Ultimate Edition, so Ultimate needs it's complete. Sources said, we know AEW wants a second game to be made. Now, that's huge because this is all coming out after AEW Fight Forever, so they already know how the game performed. So if they still want a second game to be made, then that means... The fans who are hoping, I think we're in a good spot because we just might get it. But as far as who will make it, that's completely up in the air. Them, meaning AEW, owning the game engine, puts the ball in their court for where they go from here. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily the case as well because we saw when Yuke's left that 2K team or whatever, 2K20 came out and it was a mess. I think that's because they were making the game with Yuke's engine and they didn't know how to do it. I don't know. I'm not a game developer. I can't tell you how that stuff works. But can you take this AEW Fight Forever engine and just give it to another developer and have them work on top of it? I don't know. We definitely don't need an AEW 2K20 situation going on here. So... It's going to be rough, y'all. Listen, if WB does sign them to another deal, if they stick with WB, WB Sports, like they are working on their gaming division. They got Mortal Kombat. They got a successful Harry Potter game. Why not get AEW under your belt? If WB puts money into an AEW game and we get something with the budget of a Mortal Kombat or a Harry Potter, that could be exactly what AEW needs to get a game that stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with the 2K franchise. What do y'all think about it? Let me know in the comment section. It may be over for AEW Fight Forever, but I think it's far from over for AEW games. Thank y'all for tuning in. Drop a like, smash that subscribe button. Bomb Squad. Poof.